Now for the part that immediately filters most new players that try this game. The Temple of Trials. You would think it's fighting the giant ants. Nah. It's just <laughs> trying to figure out how to open two doors. No one can do it. Most of the players just quit. Go back to talking about how they beat Dark Souls. It's called turn-based for a reason. Weak gamers won't make it to the other side. Instead of fighting, can't we settle this peacefully? I don't want peace. I want problems, always. You can talk your way out of this, but I want to roundhouse him in the head. Temple defeated. Now I get to put on the vault suit <laughs> that's been sitting in a musty temple for generations. I would wash it, but this well is broken. Which is a job for the chosen one. Boom, first quest complete. Congratulations, chosen one. I must go. Town to town, solving people's problems, inadvertently making them worse. Welcome to the team, Sulik. I will take your leather jacket. That's mine now. You can have these weird red scorpion pincers I found. What an equal trade. Welcome to the apocalypse. I hope you like leather. Fail to lockpick. Well, as someone with a leather jacket, this is how I open locked doors. I'm in. This man sent me to my death. Thanks, Whiskey Bob or whatever the fuck your name was. I'm gonna go back to town and slap Whiskey Bob. $50 for fighting 50 geckos? No. Stay away from the golden one. It may as well be Godzilla walking over there. The den. Normally I come here just to kill vendors and take all their stuff, but I'll be a stand-up citizen this time for the most part. All right, Sulik. Keep your hands in your wallet around here, especially around the children. God damn, there's a kid at every door. There's a pickpocket at every goddamn door in this place. Slaver's Guild, that sounds like a place for two unarmed tribals. <laughs> How much for the fat radio repair guy? What would you do if there was a child right in front of you? We shot them and beat them to death with hammers. And the town is just fine with it. No way we'd be friends with child killer. But Sulik, I saw you smash one of them in the face with a hammer. You're a child killer. We did it as a group. Together. Fine. I'll load. You get to live another tragic day, orphan. Modoc, goddammit. You hillbilly fucking hodunk town. Where the hell are you? Hey, baby. You like bad boys in leather jackets? Women love it when you open with a question about slaughterhouses. All very boring if you ask me. Of course, of course. Let's switch things up. You're right. Enough talk. Let's get it on. You know you want it. This is like the most incel fucking... <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> it's just, it's, this reads like one of those Reddit posts, like two seconds into meeting them. You want to have the sexy sex? What the hell is going on in here? Sir, it was just three men. Wait, why was Sulik in the other guy's room? I have forgotten how to get married, so I will come back to that. All right, guys, let's all climb into the outhouse. Who's with me? All of you. God, you guys are such good friends. Why am I the only one that fell down? I'm the drama queen in the group. Sorry to everyone in the town that now has shit splattered all over every building, but Cornelius gets his watch back, so it, it all evens out, really. And who names their kid Cornelius in the post-apocalypse? You're basically guaranteeing he's not going to be the leader of a raider gang. Those doors are closed for Cornelius. Oh, there's suddenly an option to know her better before just taking off my pants? All they want is sex, sex, sex. I get tired of having sex. I get tired of having wild sex all the time. Just constantly with so many people. Wow. Um, cool. Do you want to get married? What's going on in here? Nothing, just let me grab all of my things. I think he's just darling, and I intend to marry up with him. <gasps> By frontier law, I pronounce you attached. Well, we got a third on the team, boys. But you know how it is when you add a woman to the dynamic, it always throws everything off. Our, our friend group will never be the same. Boy, what a team I've assembled. We've got an out of shape radio repair guy in a vest. A tribal with a sledgehammer that speaks like a Jamaican for no apparent reason. And the daughter of some country bumpkin. Get him, wife. Protect your man. Get him, Sulik. Protect your man. 
Get him, Vic, you fucking asshole. You shot me. I know I'm also wearing a leather jacket and it is nighttime, but that, that is not an excuse. She's got a lime green mohawk. I know you did not just mix us up. Sure is a lot of aliens down here. Well, I'm ill-equipped to be fighting xenomorphs, so let's head on out. Mole rats, now that's more my speed. Okay, maybe not. Maybe they're too strong for me. If someone walked up and shot me twice with a pistol, I'm, that's, I'm done. That's, that's it for me. A rat, he's okay. Man, this town doesn't have a lot going on. Just talk to people, like, what do you mind here? Gold. Oh. Anything else going on? Nope. Vault City. Usually all I do here is nab Cassidy and leave. Can I check out your locker? Who locks lockers? What the fuck is wrong with you people? You freaks. Every place here is just an office or a center of some sort. Where are the actual houses where people live? Vault City always gave me the heebie-jeebies. I never liked this place. I always felt like a post-apocalyptic HOA neighborhood. I somehow feel way more at home in New Reno, the prostitutes and drug addicts. Nothing like a satisfying urinating experience. I hear you, buddy. We'll pee together. Be you and my wife. <laughs> Hands at our sides like men. Vic, what are you doing in here? You're making it weird. All right, well, since Cassidy keeps jabbing me in the side saying, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's just head on out. We'll go to Gek, the place full of so much radiation, the citizen's skin is falling off and it somehow feels more welcoming than this place. Radiation, keep out. No. <laughs> Ever seen a grown man naked? It's an odd question for the bartender to be screaming when I was 20 years younger. <laughs> Cassidy just immediately starts having flashbacks. When I was a child, I was diddled by a ghoul. All right, boys, now we can ride in style. To New Reno. Is that a car? Damn. You bet your ass it is. Now this place is more my speed. Which honestly might say something about my city. Dude, where's my car? 20 seconds after getting that car, someone already fucking stole it. Well, well, well. If it isn't way more people than I was expecting. His actual name's Chop Shop Boy. I thought I was just being insulting when I was talking to that guy calling him Chop Shop Boy. Tell Mr. Bishop I've arrived to sleep with his family, all of them. You want to come up to my chambers to drink? Sorry, Mrs. Bishop. I'm married. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, let's go. Honey, wait downstairs. Huh. You know, I'm surprised you're a have sex with the lights on person. I don't want a condom. Now all I have to do is sneak past her husband. Walk on through here. Nothing. Oh, I'm looking for Vault 13. Was is it up here? Hello, Mr. Bishop. Just casually leaving now. Don't mind me. Your guards are also just sleeping with your wife. They're not dead. Man, this whole place is mad at me. For what? What did I do? Fuck one mob boss's wife. He attacks you? Like, while well, I'm in the middle of killing all of the uh, guards, I will bang the daughter. Hopefully, mom and dad don't find out. His wife and daughter. Has there ever been a man more cucked than Mr. Bishop himself? Hello, boys. I'm here to talk to that nerd you're uh, guarding. I don't remember having to kill these guys, but apparently I did. Coming through. Or Cassidy will just open the door for me. Who are you? And how the hell did you get in here? See a very good guards that are good at guarding to Broken Hills. My bones! My bones! Oh god! My precious bones! Marcus, my man with the minigun, the one guy that could help me get through combat in places. Alright, so what do you want? I need to relocate this plant so that he will tell me how to beat the scorpion in chess. Every man keeps a shovel in the trunk of his car. Just in case. What if you need to hide a body? You never know. I'm gonna challenge a uh, super mutant to an arm wrestling competition. If I win, I get an item that I have no use for. If he wins, I have to be his gimp for the night. Those are my kind of stakes. 
I see no flaws in this. Let's go. I'm game. He's only like five times my size. I could beat him. I took two buff out. How could I lose? Why'd my wife... Why are you guys all ho hovering around him like he's gonna win? <laughs> no! I have to explain to my wife why, where I was last night and why I have a ball gag in my inventory. <laughs> Two NCR. Actually, I'm very low on gas. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Car out of power. And I have no fusion cells. <laughs> Here to see President Tandy. Oh my President god. Tandy, what, what happened to you? Attack a vault? Take all their guns? For my crew? Can do, President Tandy. Well, after getting our asses kicked several times over, I decided to let the slavers live. To slave another day. Or to make... S catch slaves? Beat slaves. Another day. Time to try to take on raiders with probably even better armor than those guys. Man, two guys in combat armor, that is gonna be rough. I gave my wife a new pistol just so she can help out in this fight. Just runs away, doesn't help me at all. I need me a ride or die bitch. It's also interesting that the combat armor guys just don't seem to give a fuck about my team. They're only interested in me and since Cassidy's parked his bald ass right in the doorway, they're just skipping their turn. It's also odd that these guards have not noticed what's going on over here. So this has been playing out quite well for me so far. Despite the odds being stacked against me. Holy shit, they pulled it off. Ain't, there ain't nothing around. They, <laughs> yep, nothing at all. You guys are amazing guards. I'm sure Darian is happy that you're on his payroll. Alright team, you ready to infiltrate a uh, highly guarded military base? Alright, well don't be in the way of the howitzer when Ray. Set this off. Okay, who's standing right in front of the howitzer? Hmm. This looks like a floor we don't want to be on. Hey, honey. Uh, you know all that equipment I gave you? Could you just get that back? No particular reason, I just want to borrow it for a second. So you know how you say you don't want to leave my party, you just will refuse to leave, no matter what? Well, you can stay in my party, I just need to go right into this little room over here. It's labeled, uh, organ extraction. No, wrong way, sweetheart. I need you to go this way, towards the organ extraction. No, 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 I know you're, I know you're nervous, but trust me, I'm your husband. I wouldn't hurt you. Maria? Maria? What is your name? Mer Miria. Whatever. Get in there. Lenny, get the fuck out of the extraction room. Why are you walking in there? <laughs> He's like, please, I just want to die. Extract my organs, my dilapidated ghoul organs that nobody wants. Honey, I'm going to close this door. For no particular reason, I'm going to lock it. Human organ brain. Proceed with extraction. <laughs> All right, we all made it out of the military base intact. Tragic news, sir. In our travels, your daughter had an accident. More tragic news. Your sister is dead, and then your dad just had a heart attack. Oh boy, I get to be the one that's in charge here. Okay, well, you seem to be in good spirits about the whole thing, so I'll be going now. Just keep them coming. This is going to be my casino. Okay, why are the patrons joining in here? I was gonna let you still come to my new casino. You really wanna do this, old man? You wanna die on this hill? Stain in my, oops. That lady did not choose to fight me, but uh, collateral damage. I will give her family a free $20 coupon that can only be used on my slot machines. Now that I'm no longer a kissless virgin, maybe they'll let me star in their porno. Damn it, still not enough experience. Oh, God damn it. How, how much of a slut do I need to be? Cat's Paul, where are you at? I have got to get sluttier. Attention booty shoppers, take advantage of this booty sale. Want well, booty? Come on in, booty lovers. This guy does have a compelling argument. I do like booty. Booty, booty, booty. All right, what a good salesman. He's convinced me. 
You're gonna shoot at me because I won't become a one of your family members? Fuck you guys. You motherfuckers. Think you can take me? <laughs> now I'm gonna be the proud owner of two casinos. This jet dealer is just like, why did you have to bring this fight into my bathroom? I'm just trying to sell drugs in here. All right, Mr. Wright, you'll be happy to know that I've eliminated the leader of every other crime family in this city. I'll go with the mob name Shark for the Shark Casino that I just took over. And I'm idolized by a city that I've killed a lot of people in. Actually, a majority of the people that live in this city I've killed. I'm great with dogs. They won't bother us, I'm sure. Well, they picked this fight. Every five minutes, Marcus asks if someone farted. I think he's over there just shitting himself constantly. He's too old to realize. Just all the time, like, God damn, it stinks around here. <laughs> Must be someone else, not me. Okay, I said this for a minute, actually, okay. Now time for the most convoluted goddamn puzzle in this game. You take a metal pole, you use it on the cart, yeah? And then you open the cart and attach dynamite. Oh, hello there! And, and you talk to Marcus, apparently. That's part of it. And then you push it. That's obviously how you do it. Duh! There's more mutants in the abandoned military base than there were in the functional military base. Quit walking in on me when I'm sleeping with the prostitutes. So like, stop running in. I go in with a prostitute. You just come charging in. All right, here, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hook up one of my friends. Bone nose here. He just cannot help himself. Someone ass getting laid tonight. Now it's Cassidy's turn. <laughs> really cheering him on. Yeah, way to go, bro. Clap it over here. Oh, hell no. Shoot his ass right now. Did you really think you're gonna kill me with one punch when I have power armor on? Man, this is gonna fuck up my car. Phew, that was a close one. Thought for sure that was locked. Apparently not. Then I'm gonna keep this shit locked. The secret underground entrance to their base. They just leave the door slightly ajar. They're like, eh, don't worry about it. I'm here for your pass key. That I didn't realize I could just go to the mainframe and ask for this. Like, I'd, I've never done that before. Oh my god, it's that simple? Every time I've tried to get the fob, I've always been doing this elaborate bullshit, like pretending like I'm the cleaning crew or blowing up the locker. Or... All you have to do is go to the mainframe that tells you there's a fob in here and then just tell them I'm here to get the fob. That's it. What's your name, Private? The very normal name, Pong Sifu. What was that? Did you forget something, maggot? Pong Sifu, sir. I am not his sir! <laughs> I work for a living, you moron! Proceed on the devil to the hangar, where you will stand guard duty! You will do a fine job! Do you understand? Man, this sucks. This is what I get for talking to every NPC. I accidentally got a job. A real job. Not killing... Rival gang members and whatnot. Nah, yeah, fuck this post. Trooper, what are you doing here? Get back to your guard po Asshole. Right? What a dick. We should go kill him. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Unless. Hey, Quincy. I heard Raul thinks you're a bitch. And that he could totally take you in a fight. Hey, Raul. Quincy says your mom and something about his penis. Let me just peek in here, watch the drama unfold. Fight, 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 fight. Quincy got laid the fuck out. Now if you don't mind me, I'm just gonna s grab uh, all your stuff, step over your body. You actually don't have to bother getting the navcom parts and the fob key and then going down here. In fact, I'm not even gonna do it. I'm not even gonna go through there. Step one of my master plan. Set the timer on two bombs. And then just leave those laying around where no one will get hurt. Oh no. Ken Lee died. <laughs> what happened? Step two. Get really high. And this nice man in the suit will just fix it for you. Like I could put my wife's brain in here, but I had to deal with her again. 
much rather have a cybernetic brain. The ranking goes cybernetic brain, then chimpanzee brain, then my wife, then abnormal brain. Robot, what are you doing with that prostitute? Am I good enough to be in your porno yet? I've had sex with so many prostitutes and family members of a certain gang organization. What do I want my porn name to be? There's no Long Dong Pong option? Johnson Long. That's close enough. This guy that's always just scooting around doing his own thing. Doesn't even seem to care what I'm doing. Just stops and talks to random prostitutes for some reason. May I compute your pussy? Please sit on my face! <laughs> it's been real. But I gotta do this final mission on my own. I'll give you each a goodbye kiss before I go. Mwah. Mwah. It's funny that I just take off with this tanker. Well, it's got like a whole town of people living in it. <laughs> with vendors and everything. And I just like, Yo, you're all coming with me. Let's go. Man. This room is a lot smaller than I remember it being. Let me just close the door so we can have some privacy, Mr. President. I'm superior to you in every way. Well, now for me to assassinate the President of the United States. I'm just going to inject him with a whole lot of needles just over and over. He's just going to stand there while I just keep poking him with needles. And he doesn't go like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, damn. What happened? You there, computer -y science nerd. I need you to set off an atomic bomb. I'm going to threaten you until you do it. <laughs> Keep quiet for a while. Also, don't tell this guy right here. This man that overheard our entire conversation. Now, I just gotta convince these boys with delicate diplomacy that their best option is to join me in combat. You're about to die! You're about to die! They listen to reason. So now I get to head over to this console and turn the turrets on him. Would you look at that? He just gets shot by his own defenses. And then I just skip my turn until he dies. And congratulations, you beat the final boss without even pulling out a gun. Well, I can't leave it on that note. So I'm gonna load, and I'm gonna beat Frank Horgan the hard way. Everyone's gonna be against me. All that shit that was just beating him up, that's gonna be attacking me now. Sometimes it's hard being superior to every single other person on the planet. Ow. Ow again. Okay, it's starting to get annoying. What? Oh my god. Who got a lucky crit? Through the door from a mile away. Wait, no, that was like the, the fucking turret? Did the turret crit me? Jesus. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. I'm not supposed to get insta crit. It's bad enough this dude is one HP shy of a thousand health. I also got all this other shit to deal with. Come on. Oh, fuck. A turret crit me? God, Jesus Christ. My low luck is really coming to fruition here. Okay, let's walk up to you. Blast you in your dick. There you go. Killed you the old-fashioned way. My own two hands and a gun. Now all I have to do is hope I don't get crit at any point from any of these enemies. Fucking hell. Oh my god. 